um, the steps are a little different. This meeting is being recorded. But it's basically the same type of koi fish painting. So you can always watch the second session again at two o'clock if you want. So um, we are gonna get started. It's 11.04 in just one minute. So if you wanna grab a piece of scrap paper first, we are going to, um, I'm gonna draw it first. I'm gonna tell you all the steps and then I'll do it in paint. So um, I have a whole paint palette of colors here and I'll show you that in a minute. I have a paper towel and um, I have my marker and paper and then we'll do it in paint. So I just wanna welcome everyone. My name's Rowie and we're gonna get started with our koi fish painting. But before we start, I just wanna give a big shout out to Capital Blue Cross Connect Health and Wellness for doing this program with us every week because it is just such a great time to get together. And I don't know about you guys, but it's humid outside here. It's a little bit misty and rainy. So this is like the perfect, the perfect indoor, indoor activity to do. And um, don't feel rushed going through this. If you, if you just wanna sketch it out first and then work on the color portion later, or just you know even do it in black and white, just take your time going through it and just enjoy the creative process. You can chat with me here. And I think I can get the chats. And um, if you can chat with me here and I can try to answer your questions. I can't see you at home, but you can see me. So feel free to ask me questions or you know type your comments. And um, like I said at the beginning, my computer's acting a little strange. So um, hopefully I can see your comments when they come up. So we're gonna get started. Let me show you my palette of colors before we start. So we're doing koi fish. So of course, you know, koi fish are those, they're to me, so beautiful and um they usually have a base of like a white creamy color and so of course i have white on my plate they usually have orange or like a peach color in it some have some red spotting in it um so i have a combination of red yellow orange here i put way too much paint on my plate you don't need that much okay but um it just came pouring out so i just went with it but i mixed i mixed orange a little bit of red with yellow so I um, mix the orange before we start it. And then I might mix the orange with a little bit of white just to get a light peachy color. I'll put some yellow in the fish also. I have black, I have black mixed with blue. So a little bit of dark blue for some shading in the water. I have some bright blue and I have some green. I like to add green in my water because um, I don't know, I like to see like that, that greenery under the water. So that's why I have green on there, but you can do any combination of those colors, or of course you can just do it in black and white and then follow along later. So what I'm gonna do is sketch out the shape of the koi fish first. We're gonna do one koi fish and um, really get it right. And then if you wanna do two on your paper, three or you know a whole, a whole school of them, you can do that later. So my paper that I have here is about a nine by 12 piece of paper, okay? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you, let me get my paper on the camera. This is, I am not technological at all, look at this. Okay, I'm trying to get the paper on the camera. There we go. All right, so what we're gonna do is I am going to show you the shape of the koi fish and then we're gonna go from there. So the first shape is we're going to put like a curve, a curved line on our our paper so I'm going to use the whole length of the paper to do it if you want to do it again and make your koi fish smaller you can do that but just to get the shape of the fish first I'm going to use the whole length of it koi fish have just such a beautiful curved shape to them and when they swim in the water it's just really amazing to watch them so they almost like follow each other and they do like you know, follow movement outside of the water. So they're just always moving and flowing and they're just beautiful. So our first shape is just gonna be like a curved shape, okay? So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna start, I'm gonna leave room for the tail. I'm gonna start at the top of the fish and just curve it down. You can't go wrong with this, okay? Let me put it towards the camera, there. A curved shape. So it starts up at the top, comes down, my, my camera is in reverse, so that's why I'm, I'm like pointing the wrong way. I'm gonna point right at here. The, the um, top of the fish starts up here, it curves out and then down, just a simple wave. So if you can see that, okay. Okay, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna do that wave again. 
So this is just the first time I'm doing the painting and then we're gonna do it again. So I'm gonna start the wave, just a little bit of space up at the top. I'm gonna follow that wave down and come down, okay? Just like that. So I'm following it just like that. Okay, that's gonna be our first step. We're gonna do a little wave, a second one, and then we're gonna join this together for the curve of the fish's head. Okay, so those two waves come together for the, for the shape of the fish's head. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the fish mouth. Get this really close to you. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put a little like line right there. right there. Uh, koi fish do have whiskers on them. If you wanna add whiskers, you can add whiskers later. And then we're gonna do two dark ovals on the side of the fish. And like a little curved line on the top. Nice. Okay, so we have this curved line just like that that's filling up the whole paper. All right, so what we're gonna do next then is we're gonna put some of the markings on the fish. Actually, let's do the fin first. So he has a big like fin coming down the side of his body. So put a line down the middle, curved line that goes off to the side. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring that line up and kind of just go over it just a little bit. Okay, put that fin on the top. So it's just a line that's gonna go to the side up and down. We're gonna put the markings on the koi fish next, okay? So when we go to do it in paint or color, I'll use like a little bit of a darker orange to do this, and then later I'll fill it in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put just like lines like this. They usually have markings on the top of their head too, okay? Little spots. Put some back here by the tail. I'm definitely gonna put some up here by, by their head. Okay, so can you see that? Just some lines, like in like, I did it four different areas. And then we're gonna to go to this side and we're gonna do the fins, okay? So the fins. The first side, we're gonna do a long line out and then back. And those, those fins, they're just so beautiful just, you know, so fluid. So have it go back. We'll put some markings in there. Then we're gonna do a smaller one on the other side. So we're gonna come out and back in. You're not gonna see quite as much of it. Make sure you can see that. Okay, we're gonna do some smaller fins towards the back. They're all gonna to point towards the back. So it looks like it's flowing through the water. Okay, and a smaller one on the other side. Good, good job. All right, then we're gonna do the tail. So it's gonna come up. Ah. Sorry, this computer's giving me problems today, everyone. Okay, and we're gonna do the tail coming out. So it's gonna come back to the first wave that we made. So I went out and then back in, almost like a leaf shape, right? And then this one comes out and comes back in. You can put a little line across if you want. And then we'll come in here with some shading. This will be like a really light orange. When we go to paint the water around the fish, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that dark blue color, the blue that I mixed with the black. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add like a little bit of that under the fish here. So this is all gonna be like a dark, a dark like shadow under the fish. Okay, when I go to paint it, you see that? I'll make that all dark around him on the one side. And then I'm gonna put some green underneath some green in the water, and then I'm gonna paint light blue on the top. So it's gonna be a combination of three different colors for the water when we get to it, and we'll do that step by step. All right, so those are the steps of our koi fish. And I like to do koi fish in threes. So usually when I do a koi fish painting, I'll do one large fish here, and then you know I'll turn my paper. I might need a bigger paper or a smaller fish, of course, but I'll do another fish going this way and then maybe just a piece of the fish going off. So once you get this fish done, 
you can always um, do more fish, smaller, bigger, or a really good idea is if you really like the shape of your sketch, your fish, you can always um, cut it out and you could use it almost as a tracer. So you can take this and put it on a bigger piece of paper and you know, kind of arrange it the way you want. And koi fish kind of swim like in circles, they follow each other. So you might wanna just remember that when you go to lay your fish out. They usually don't go straight across, they usually go like in some kind of circular motion. So I'm gonna put this sketch down because I'm covering his eye the whole time and we're gonna start it again, okay? What I'm gonna do this time is I'm gonna do it in paint. So this time you can see it in, um, I am gonna just change my screen here so I can see a little better. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I am gonna do it in paint this time. So if you are doing it in paint, what I would like you to do is just get out like a pencil or even like a gray color that you can do that acts like the color of a pencil just to put the shape of the fish in first, okay? So the shape of the fish is what goes in first and then we're gonna start shading the water and then we'll come back to the fish. When we do the fish, the koi fish, I like to start, even though it's a white fish, with a little bit of a darker color underneath the fish, and I'll show you what I mean, and then work lighter so that it looks like the light's hitting the fish and it makes it a little bit brighter. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with a paintbrush that looks like this. Okay, it's a number 16 brush. It's a little rounded at the top, but it's really, it's really thin. All right, so that's the paintbrush I'm starting with. My canvas is just, this is I think just like an eight by 10 canvas. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix that gray color that I talked about. So I'm gonna take a little, now black is really powerful, but if you're just using a pencil or a pen, just follow along using a pencil or a pen. But what I'm gonna do is just a little bit of black, tiny bit of black, a dip in the white, gonna mix that together. I am gonna make mine darker than I recommend you making it so you can see it at home, okay? So I'm mixing a dark gray color. You should mix a really light color. The only one who needs to see this gray color is you. So this is so that you can get the shape of the fish in and then you can go back later and paint it, okay? So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna start with that wave. Ooh, that's a crooked wave. Okay, so I'm doing that wave. I just started at the top, curved it in, and then curved it back out. That's your first step for the koi fish. Okay, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna do that wave again. You're just gonna follow that curve. And that's the most beautiful part of the koi fish, I think, is the way they, they are curved. And then you're just gonna bring that together at the bottom, okay, into a rounded shape. So just bring that together right at the bottom. Nice. So my gray is really dark. You don't need it that dark. Just the color of a pencil, really light. And then you can just move on from there. Okay. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to put that fin on the top. So what we did was we did a line that kind of angled over to the side. Nice. You guys are doing a good job. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my paintbrush up and just curve it over. Now, if your line comes up past the fish, that's, that's good too. It can come, or if it's longer than mine, that's great. However you, however you wanna do it. Their, their um, fin is probably a little longer than that. So if you wanna make it a little longer, go for it. Feel free to change anything that you want in this painting, okay? Well, anytime you paint, anytime, I'm just the, the guide. So anytime you wanna change it, just change it. You're the artist. Okay, next what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the spots in for the eyes, but we'll come back to it and make it dark black then. So right here on the side of the fish, if you can see that, I'm just gonna put like a little oval. And then on this side, I'll put a piece of an oval just sticking out. Okay. Then we're gonna put the, the mouth on. So we're just gonna do a curved line right at the front of the fish. We wanna do two. You have that, that fish mouth, right? Nice. Okay, then what we're gonna do, I, I hope I'm not going too fast. If I'm going too fast, just let me know. I wanna to get to the color part. So I love the color part, <laughs> but um, just take your, take your time doing all these steps. Don't worry, it's being recorded, but I just, I have to slow down because I don't want 
want you to rush. So um, I'm going too fast, just let me know. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna do the, the fins on the side. So they go back like they're flowing really nicely through the water. So right about here, you're gonna take your paintbrush or your pencil and just curve it back, okay? So it's gonna go back and then to the front. You don't want them to go straight out. You want them to curve back. Okay, over here, make it a little bit smaller. Okay, so the one side's gonna be bigger than the other. Nice. Nice, everyone. Okay, right here, we're gonna do another fin. Same thing, it's gonna flow back. And on the other side, it's gonna flow back, just a little bit smaller. Just see a piece of it. Okay, good job. The, I, the best part to me is putting in like the, the spotting and the color. Oh, love it. And I love the combination of the orange and the yellows against the blue. Like that, that has to be my favorite color combination, orange and blue I, uh, on a painting. I love that. I think it just looks so pretty with like spots of white on there. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to the tail. So if you wanna put a line going across, you can. And then you're gonna take the tail up and down, kind of like a leaf shape. So up to a point and down. And you know, if you ran out of room and it goes off the canvas, just let it go off the canvas. Just let it go off and then come back down, okay? It's okay, you don't have to squish it onto your canvas or your paper, just let it go off. Then from here, the side of the tail is a little different. It's gonna come out and back down, a little bit bigger. Okay, we'll eventually put some like shading marks, some dark orange in there. You wanna just brush some in there. We'll put some shading marks in the fins, some shading marks in the, what is that? The, this is the fins. I'm getting all my, my parts confused with the fish. <laughs> so you guys have to help me. All right, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the markings in for the fish. So feel free to do however you want, change it. You know, some koi fish just have spots on their face. Some have all the different colors. Some are very plain. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do a line like that, one back here. I think I did four under the, the, the thin at the top, and then I'm gonna just do one right up here by the face, okay? So I'm just putting the markings in just so I remember to do that. This one kind of looks too circular, so I'm probably gonna change that. Looks like a big rainbow shape. I should change that when we go to do it. So um, I wanted a little bit curvier. So what we're gonna do now that we have the shape of the fish in is we're gonna start doing the, sh the parts of the water, okay? So, our first step is to put that dark color under the fish, just so it looks like it has a little bit of depth. So we're gonna do it in layers. So I'm gonna switch brushes to a little bit of a thicker brush. So I'm gonna put this in my water. I'm gonna take out a brush that looks like this. I'm using acrylic paint. So acrylic paint dries really fast. So I'm able to do it layer by layer pretty quickly, okay? So, and it's just the student line of acrylic paint, no fancy paint. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this dark blue color and you can take blue and mix it with a little bit of black if you want. And I'm just gonna go all around my fish, almost like creating a shadow underneath where my fish is swimming, okay? So, I did a I did a koi fish food ad one time way back um, for a fish food company. I used to do some commercials and we had to do koi fish. We had to feed the koi fish during the ad. And when you fed them in the pond, they would follow you. If you walk, they follow you. If you like turn left, they follow you. And it was really cool. It was like they were little puppies almost. You know, you feed them and they follow you. And you fed them and you they, they follow you. And it was just so interesting. Like they're such smart creatures. And it was really cool to see that because I had never seen that before. And plus they're beautiful. So um, if you want to just add that dark blue up here, so that's my story about koi fish. <laughs> and I don't know whatever happened with that ad. I don't know if they ever 
used it. <laughs> All right, so a little bit of shadowing. If you want to add a little bit on the other side, you can. I usually tend to keep it to one side. Okay, so just like that. So we're going to let that dry just a little bit. That's a dark blue. Okay, if you don't have dark blue, you can just use blue mixed with a little bit of black. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put this in the water and I'm going to switch to a different paintbrush. I can go back to the one I was using at the beginning. And I'm going to start doing the colors for the fish. Now, this is going to sound crazy, I know. Okay. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint gray onto the fish. Because like I said, I like to go darker and then a little bit lighter. So I always put a darker color under my light colors because it makes it have a little bit of depth. So before I put the white on the fish, I am going to paint, now you can use gray or you can use brown, brown would work also. I am gonna paint gray wherever I'm gonna have white. So I am gonna paint this gray color all around my fish, just not going over the parts that I'm gonna have that orange color, okay? Does that make sense? So anywhere that I'm gonna paint white, I'm gonna put gray first. So I'm taking gray, see where I'm putting it? Anywhere that I'm gonna have white. So I'm gonna have a little bit of gray on that. Fin at the top, I'm gonna have a little bit of white on each of these fins on the side, okay? So a little bit of gray on each of those fins, a little bit of gray on the tail, because I'm gonna add some white there and some orange. Okay, so anywhere I'm gonna put white, maybe right up there at that mouth, I'm going to do gray first. I'm gonna let the gray dry and then I'm gonna put white on top of it, okay? So I'm gonna wash off that brush and now I'm gonna do the same thing with the spot in. So if you wanna wait a little bit and try to figure out like what colors you want for the spots or if you wanna look up pictures of koi fish and see what you like the best, you can do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go with orange for um, my koi fish spots and maybe add a little bit of red to it just so it's like a like a salmon kind of color. Ah, salmon for a koi fish. All right, so, but I'm going to go dark first and then I'm going to go lighter. So I'm going to make this one really bright orange, okay, because I'm going to do a couple layers of each color. So bright orange for this one. Each of the spots are gonna be a little bit different, okay? And I'm gonna add a little bit of orange to the end of that fin. Okay, so I'm putting just straight orange right there. This time I'm gonna mix red with a little bit of the orange. So red and orange mixed together just so it's a little bit of a deeper color. And right up here at the front of the fish, okay, so I put a little spot up here, the top of the fish's face. I'm just gonna add that orange and red. Okay, can you see that? So this is orange and red here. I'll add some orange and red to the end of the fin. Okay, and I'll make it even a little bit darker orange and red for this spot back here. Now this is really red. It's okay. Eventually it's gonna get lighter because I'm gonna put colors on top of it, lighter colors on top of it but I like to have that nice base color underneath of it because then it just really sets it off. And you'll see as we, as we layer and layer, the difference it makes to have that lighter color underneath. So anywhere you're gonna have color, you're gonna put a darker color underneath it. Okay, I'm gonna put some orange and red at the back of the tail. Oops, mine went right off the canvas. Okay, right at the back of the tail. I'm just gonna let that dry. So that's gonna be like that for a couple minutes. Oh, let's add some, some orange to the top of the fin at the top. I don't want that too pointy. It's gonna look like a shark. <laughs> I made it really pointy. Don't make it too pointy. You don't want a koi fish shark. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some green to the water, okay? So I'm gonna wash off my brush and dry it off. And now I'm gonna add some green. So I like to, think that these koi fish have lots of food in the water, lots of green. So I'm gonna add green, can you see it? 
to certain spots, okay? There's no rhyme or reason to where I'm adding this. I'm just adding a few spots. It's cool to have different colors in the water too. You know, kind of like a Monet painting. You can add some pink to the water, some purple to the water. Um, and then when you go to paint, you can just paint the light blue on top. It'll, it'll really stand out, okay? So I had some green back here. I could show you what it looks like to add some pink or, or some purple. So red and white make pink. You know that. You can just add some pink dots. Okay, can you, let, let me make sure the sun glare is in. See that? Ah. ah, me and my computer. I don't know if we're friends today, you guys. It's driving me nuts. All right, so what we're gonna do is just leave that go. So if you wanna add some colors underneath our blue color, you're just gonna leave that go. So we layered all the darker colors, okay? And we're gonna start letting it dry. So acrylic paint, like I said, dries really fast. And our next step is to start going lighter. So we have all the darker colors in. So even if you're using colored pencil or just a pencil, you might wanna just make it a little bit lighter with like your eraser or white pencil or shade over top of it for these next parts, okay? So the next parts, ready? Same brush, I'm gonna wash it off, I'm gonna dry it off. And now this little fish is gonna get really cute, okay? So what we're gonna do is my gray is dry. Well, I mean, it's not really dry, but I'm just gonna do it anyway. You should wait till yours is dry. <laughs> I just do it anyway, even though I shouldn't, but I want you to see what happens when I do it. So here we go. I'm gonna dip in the white, make sure your paintbrush is really dry. And I'm gonna do the white first before I do the spots. And I'm gonna take my white, take it all the way out. And if you can see, you're gonna be able to see, let me see. You'll see the gray underneath a little bit, but it gives it such shading. It's so, it's so great, I love it. All right, then you're gonna put a little bit of white at that mouth. Fish's mouths are so funny. Okay, so let me get really close and show you what I'm doing. I'm just putting the white over where I put the gray. Okay, so white all the way to the edge and watch how I'm moving my brush, okay? You wanna make sure the white, no, you wanna make sure the orange and the red are dry or else you're gonna get like a messy fish. Which I mean, it might not be a bad thing, but it might drive you nuts if you want bright white, but make sure the orange and the red are really dry and then it'll be, it'll be better for you, like a cleaner look. So I'm gonna take some white towards the, Thins. I'm just moving my brush back and forth. Okay. And on the fins, on this fin right here, we put some white. And you know what happens is the white, the gray underneath actually acts like a little bit of like a little tiny outline. So it's really, it's really nice. It's like a nice look, I feel like when it's done. So now I'm going back on the fins here. I'm going back to the back of the fish. So anywhere I paint it gray, I'm gonna start painting white. So can you see that? Okay, I have the front of him in. I have his mouth in. I have his fins in all the way to the back. And then we're gonna add a little bit to the tail. I'm gonna brush white to the tail and I'm just rubbing my white. Now that red is still really wet. So just wait or else you'll have pink, okay, back there. Okay, so now the white's in. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna start making a lighter color. So orange, where is it? Orange and the red and the orange mixed together. What we wanna do is we wanna make them a little bit lighter. So with the white on my paintbrush, I'm gonna take, let me show you on my plate, put this down. I need a lot more hands, guys. I need like a hand here, hand here, hand here. <laughs> I need a lot more hands. So I'm gonna take the white on my paintbrush and just mix it with the orange, just to get a lighter color, okay? It's gonna be like a peachy color. And remember, these are your koi fish, so make them whatever color you want. You know, if you want to go totally crazy and do like a totally different, like a neon koi fish, go for it. 
have fun with it. Like that's what painting and, and creating is all about is getting really creative. Cause if you don't try it now, like when are you gonna try it? Just try it. So here's the light peachy color that I made for my koi fish. Okay, now if you wanna keep it orange, just do a second coat of that orange paint. Okay, so I'm putting that light orange on and what happens is that dark orange, you can still see behind it and it just gives that a really nice effect, okay? I'm gonna take this light color and come up front, right on his face, that marking I put on his face. I'm gonna take it over here to that side bin, make sure it goes to the back, make sure it's pointing to the back, okay? Now I'm gonna mix red and orange and white because the other pieces that I had back here were a little bit red. So this, oh, it's too, it's too pink, too pink, too pink. I want it to still stay like an orange color. Okay, so I'm gonna rub some orange there, some orange underneath there, on those little fins there, on the top. Is that gill going down? Okay, not gill, fin going down. I'm gonna do some in the back here, make it a little bit lighter. So making them like kind of all have a little bit of a different color variation, just so you can see the different colors that you can make with this color palette, okay? And I hope the sun glare is letting you, I have a big window right by me right here, so that you can see it, okay? Okay. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start putting, just go up here a little bit. This is the one that I kind of made like a rainbow shape. I just wanna fix that. <laughs> All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start putting the next layer of our water on and then we're gonna come back and we're just gonna add details to our fish. So I'm gonna take this brush, put it back in the water and I'm gonna grab the bigger brush for the water, okay? So make sure it's really washed off and dried off. We're gonna go over this with a lighter blue. So I, this is what the cobalt blue looks like, okay, it's pretty bright. I like to mix it with just a little bit of white and I'm gonna just do a couple coats of it. So I'm gonna go lightly over all that dark color that we did, the dark color on this side of the fish and also the green and the pink, okay? So keep your brush pretty dry. Mine's kind of wet, so just make sure it's pretty dry. And you're just gonna gently rub that. So I'm going in a circular motion, just all around your fish. So you'll be able to see the green and the pink and all of that underneath, okay? So it'll blend in and you might wanna do a couple coats of this. Okay, so you're gonna go all around. Let's put it up here. So I'm keeping my paintbrush pretty dry and I'm gonna take that blue and the white over the dark over the green, over the pink, and I'm just swirling my brush around in a circular motion. And so instead, just so it gives it some like hint of movement. And this brush looks like this, look at little, I don't know what size it is, but it's just like a little bit thicker. The bristles are a little bit thicker and you know, it's really soft and I can get in there and swirl my paint around. Okay, get really close to your little fish guy. And this is blue and white mixed together. Or if you wanna keep it bright blue, if you wanna keep it bluish purple, whatever you wanna do, get really close to your fish and swirl that around, okay? Let me grab it up here for a minute. Blue and white, swirl it around. You should be able to see the green and the pink underneath of it. And then what I do, you know, when it's all dry, I go back and add like a, a small coat of white and I'll show you what that looks like. Hand cramp. <laughs> okay, let me just blue and white. So you wanna get really close to your fish. And this is when your fish starts to like pop because against the white canvas, it's kind of hard to see. So I'm sorry, I'm just gonna hold this close to me really quickly, okay? So that I can get in between his tail. 
get really close here. If you happen to cover up a fin or anything by accident, it's not a big deal. You can just go paint over it. Go paint, go paint it back on. Okay. Okay, so let me just get this all blended in for you. So light blue. Okay, so this is gonna dry for a couple minutes and then I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do in a little bit, okay? So this is gonna dry and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch to an even smaller brush. So this is the smaller brush, okay? A little bit pointy and we're gonna put the eyes back in in black. Koi fish also have some dark markings on them, sometimes in brown, sometimes in black, some like black spots. So if you wanna put that on, you can put that on. So I'm gonna take black. Remember black is really powerful. So you just wanna make sure that you have your eyes where you want them. Put it in pencil first. I'm gonna put a black mark there, little half, you know, it's like a half, half circle shape. Okay, ooh, they're a little bit, uh, my fish is kind of crooked. This is what happens when you paint with it up like this. So I'll just fix that, hold on, because my fish now is like totally crooked. So if you ever do that and you make a mistake, you just wipe it off. Not a big deal, I do it all the time. Okay, and then you could just put white over wherever your mistake was, because it's kind of like you're whiting out your, um, your mistake. You're using white out with paint. Put some more orange back on. I make mistakes a lot. <laughs> okay, so put some more orange back on. Let's get rid of that guy's eye that was in the back of his head. All right, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the eye where it's supposed to be, right here, okay, on the side of the fish. All right, so if you happen to make a mistake, not a big deal, just use your paint as white out. You can put a little like curved line on the top of it, okay, just like that. If you want to go up front to the fish's mouth and just make a line there, you can make a line there. You can, can, if you don't think your, your outline of the gray was dark enough, you can always take a small brush and outline your fish. I usually, don't do that. I think it looks okay without it, but if you wanted to, you could. Um, koi fish have some dark markings, like I said. So if you want to put some markings on the fish, I'm mixing orange with a little bit of black, so it's a dark orange. You can put some like markings on the fish, some dark markings. And they're just kind of like haphazard. Some are all the way in the front. You know, they could be anywhere on your koi fish. And if you want to look, I'm putting some lines here on the fins. Some shading marks, okay? Some shading marks on that fin in the middle. I put some spots back here. Once it's all dry, all, all dry, like very dry, what I'll do is I will take my brush, okay, and I'll make sure it's really dry. And I'll take a bigger brush. Oh, if you want to make it the fish have a little highlight in his eye, you can do that too. Like a little, like tiny highlight, white. Oops, not there. That's a little big, but you get the point. I am really like messing up his eyes here, you guys. <sighs> okay. But you know, that's I that's why I love paint because you can't, there's nothing you can't fix, right? Okay, so when it's really dry, to give it the illusion that it's in the water, I take a really, really dry brush. So my brushes have been sitting in water, but um, you just want to make sure it is completely dry. And what I'll do, let me see if I can get a piece of my koi fish that's that's dry. What I'll do is, I'm just gonna blot it really quick so I can show you, show you what I do to give it the illusion that it's in the water. Okay, so I'm just blotting my fish really quick so that I can show you. Um, I take a dry brush, so really dry. So just make sure there's you know no moisture in it. And I'll dip it in the blue and the white, a tiny bit of it. I'll mix the blue and the white together. Like I just took a little bit of the light blue and the white, mix it together. I'll dab it on my paper towel again, just to make sure there's not too much on, so hardly any, okay? 
And I will start, so this is dry right here, okay? I will start at the edge and I'll start rubbing some of that blue and white kind of over top of it really lightly. So it looks like my fish is under the water, okay? Just really lightly over the fish when it gets dry, you don't want it when it's still wet. And then it gives it the illusion that it's in the water, okay? So if you want to do that, you can always do that. If you want to take your small brush and just put some like curves and like some really dark, bright actually, white swirls like closer to where they're moving, you can do that, okay? You can do a couple coats of the blue and the white just to really give it that, that nice, deep blue color that the fish should be swimming in. And like I said, once you get your koi fish in, let me just outline this really quick so you can see the whole shape. Once you get your koi fish in, if it's just on scrap paper, you could always, I wanna show you what this looks like if you would outline it. It gives it a little bit of a different feel in my opinion, but you know, some like it outlined and some prefer to just have it more soft. So let me just show you where I go. And once again, at two o'clock, I'm doing another koi fish with the, with the kids, a little bit different. But if you, you know, if you wanna paint a different version of the koi fish, you can always do it. So outlined, it looks like that. Okay, and there's my eyes again, Put the eyes on, okay, awesome. All right, so I hope you had a wonderful time today. I enjoyed painting with you. Next time we're doing a fedora hat. So I know it sounds crazy, but I had to do a series of paintings the one time and it was all fedora hats and it just looks so cool and it was fun to um, just create like a simple shape and just work on the shading and really um, have fun just creating a piece of fashion. But it, it turned out to be a really cool painting. So we'll have fun with that one. So that's our next time. So I hope you sign up. So everyone enjoy doing the koi fish painting. If you do a couple koi fish on a piece of paper or on a painting, I would love to see it because um, these are one of my favorite things to paint. So just keep going with it and have fun with it. And don't forget that Capital Blue Cross has recorded this and you, and you can get their, their recorded sessions on, it says Rowie Evert on YouTube on Capital Blue Cross's website. So, and I, I'll post a link on my Facebook page too. All right, I hope everyone had a great time and have an awesome day. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.